What is up guys and welcome back to the 6 Hour Gods YouTube channel. Today we are back in Seon City where we're going to confront the priestess first and then we're going to follow the mallet to that crack in the wall. At least that's what I assume. Uh, in terms of the priestess, Eason seems to think that she's guilty of something but I don't buy it. I think that he's just a little bit uh, on edge. But she did tell us about the serpent like 10 times or something. I think he was just busy looking at a couple things if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so let's go talk to her and see what's up. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Amaterasu. Hey babe, what are you doing here? And how come you didn't tell us about that monster? Uh, I'm sure I mentioned something about the water dragon, didn't I? Bah, whatever. Anyway, you better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly eaten alive too, you know. But however did you get away? You're a rather slow swimmer. What did you just say? Take that back. Ami gets kind of sensitive about her flaws. Sorry. The fox rods. If they're not on that ship, then where on earth are they? If they're lost in the sea, the vast realm of the water dragon, there's no way we'll ever find them. Oh, cheer up. I'd hate to see you and your two friends cry. Alright, we're out of here. And we're gonna go follow the mallet. And I believe that should take us to the source of this gas coming out of the palace. Yep, he's taking us this way. So we're good. Alright, shrink us down, Mallet. Do your thing. Ha <laughs> Now we have you cornered. You. You Mallet. No treasures ever escape from the Great Eason. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and... Huh? Hey, wait. Check it out, Ami. Isn't this the palace where that swirling mist is coming from? You made us chase you here for some reason, Mallet? Wait. I think I get it. The lucky mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink Ami here? Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't you? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. I mean, this palace has got to be the source of that mist. If Queen Himoko is not going to do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this darn city. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet. We'll enter the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered on me? Yeah, let's get hammed, son. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Furball is all yours, Mallet. Hammer away! Oh, we're smaller than Eason? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for clobbering people or anything silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked like already? Now you listen here, furball. You better remember me this time, or else. I'm Eason, the Wandering Artist. You got it? Wandering Artist Eason times 1000. 
Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome. Who else could it possibly be? Bet you see me in a new light now. Hey, I'm talking to you. Ah, oh, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. Well, time's a wasting. But there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped up in chains over there? If you can guide me over to it with your celestial brush, I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right here. Okay. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. Haha. <laughs> Nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denkomaru. But listen up, I don't want you getting any funny ideas. I may be one mean sucker, but don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I just might lose it if you did that. You had to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now that everything's clear, let's get going. I think I saw a save point up here. Whoa, good god. It's scary being tiny. Whoa, that was close. Better watch out, Ami. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Better watch it or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. Haha, <laughs> now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this palace. Alright, time to save before we get stepped on. Okay, let's have a look about. Whoa. Giant ass spider. Well, I guess it's not really big, but... To us it is. See that, Ami? That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers just won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Just watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. Alright, don't mind us. Whoa. Why'd you hitch a ride? Tired of walking or something? Well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind. Just knock yourself out. Um, I don't think we need to hitch a ride. Let's just jump up here first. Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Isn't that a jail cell? Someone's in there. But I can't tell who she is. She's just got her back turned. They usually turn out to be ugly when they turn around anyway. Plus, we don't want to attract any attention if she raises a fuss. Forget about her. Let's keep going. Jeez, Eason's, uh, he's a little mean. Godly charm. Oh, yeah. Um, let's take a look at some of these things. Good, so we use that. So we're even higher level now. Oh, we got a Traveler's Charm too. Alrighty, will this boy let us through or not? Uh-oh, we got a lightning version of a wheel now. Hmm. What are we supposed to do with these guys, eh? I'm going to throw Eason at him. Get out of my house, boy. So I can throw Eason at people and he doesn't die. He lied to me. Alright, I got a little turned around here. This is the way... What the heck is that? It's a dead bug. There's the foot again. Looks like we have to go this way. Got a nice crack that we can go through. Ch 
chest. Exorcism slip M. Nothing else in here of interest, so let's keep her going. Let's see what else we can possibly find. Whoa. Let's go around. What the heck's that up there? That's uh, that's a key. Interesting. Nice, we made it. Um, can we bust through this? Nice. Golden peach. So now we should be able to go all the way back around where we can gouge that lock's eyeball off. Um, is there anything else back here that I want to check out? No. We're good. We're good. Nothing here. Doesn't hurt to check. Hello? Is someone there? Huh? Are you mallet bearers? It's hard to see from here. Mallet bearers? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, who are you? Uh, uh, just a couple of passerbys. Are you that girl we heard crying before? Sounding kind of fake if you ask me. If you're not some no-good monster trying to trick us, are you? What? Oh. No, at least I don't think so. I came to Seon City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. But the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Your grandfather's bamboo ware? Is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is Kaguya. Ah, Moonlight Beauty Kaguya. He was telling us about her. I just totally forgot her name. But I'm afraid that's about all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am or where I originally come from. Another babe. How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Eason's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I... um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. And I'm gonna give that emperor a piece of my mind when we find him. So don't you worry your pretty little head. My partner may not look like much now, but Furball here is actually the great Amaterasu. Now just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Ami. Okie doke. Gotta go this away. Hopefully we don't get blocked by a spider. That would not be good. Alright, but first, before we do that, we are going to save. Alright, let's go shank this ball sack boy in the eye. See ya. Okie doke. What do we got in here? Bunch of, uh, husks, it looks like. And a place where we can bomb. Don't fall down. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Down we go. The creepy looking things. Jackpot. Haha. -ha. Why would the Emperor hide his treasure here? I could smell it a mile away. Check out that funny looking thing on me. That's what they call a platform spider. You see? They just go back and forth like that all day. They're basically harmless, unless you stay on their backs too long. Some of them don't like it, and may end up throwing you off. 
Oh, that's fine. We should be okay. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, hey! Come back here. How did I just fall right through you? Alright, second time is the charm. We're good, we're good. Might have just overjumped or something. Okay. Bring it on, Clover. 20 XP. That's what I like to see. We haven't really been racking up the XP, have we? doing pretty well. Another 20? Whoa. Whoa. Eason, work your magic. Steal the sake. Don't really use that stuff. I probably should, but I just don't. Alright, platform spider. Get your booty over here. Oh, yo! Oh, I made it. Just barely made it. Woo! Guess the trick is you have to get a little bit of a running start. Give me that XP, boy. Let's head through here. That's what I'm talking about. A flask? Is that considered treasure? Oh, we're blocked. Uh-oh. That's a blocking spider on me. wonder why it's got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. Now we're going to have a heck of a time getting out of here. Alright, I think we have to cut this rope. Why not? Let's try again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got her. Are we supposed to be going inside the flask? Yep, I guess so. Hmm. What are we possibly doing here? Hey, Ami. There's a strange mist in this flask, too. But it's somehow different from the mist outside. I don't know. It feels kind of comforting. Um... Can we use the wind? Yay! Wow, you're getting good at that one, almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here, but he shouldn't be hogging such a comforting mist all to himself. Ooh, a new constellation. Hey, it's that starlight again. What's it doing here? Is that a buffalo? Or a bison, I guess they're called. Nope, just had a giant flask on its back. Damn, you can slow in time. Matrix style. Oh. Oh. He's getting owned, though. He's not very good at that. I feel like we can make better use of that skill. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After our separation, I took to wandering the corners of the earth. Before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, 
Kasugami, grant you the power of mist. Glisten over all creation like fleeting dew. Nice, now we only have three more techniques to go, I believe. So that's why the Emperor hid the, this flask like it was a treasure. Kasugami, the god of the mist, was trapped inside. They say Kasugami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. I really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's one awesome power you just got back, Ami. If the legend's true, that brush technique can slow down. Any monster with a single stroke, even a blocking spider. Let's try out that new power of yours right away, Ami. Just draw the mark that's there on the flask. That'll show that pesky spider who's boss. So two lines. Yes. Well, what the? The blocking sp spider just slowed down. That really is Kasugami's legendary time-slowing technique. Wow, Ami, you really packed quite an arsenal of techniques. Blocking spires should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figured out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to trap Kasugami in there? I bet it has everything to do with that swirling mist out there. Line. Line. See ya. That was a pretty screwy line, but we managed. Whoa, whoa! You know what? I'm gonna slow you down. See ya, old man wheel. Screw you. Give me that money. Um... Oh, where are we supposed to be going? I do not know. Ah, I think I have an idea now. We can slow down all of those uh, people sweeping. That sounds like a promising thing. Beesh, get out of here. Ow! Back this way. Got nothing on us now, brooms. And we'll be going through here. Perfect. This is an entirely new area now. So we shall save. Get Easton to take that. Infinity Stone. Um, where are we supposed to go here? Aha, I think I know. Perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
So let's do that while we can. Oh wait, you don't, there you go. It was not filled with water. Perfect. Doing quite well here. Don't throw us off. Don't you dare. Thank you. Huh? Hey, look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard that he was sick in bed, but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now, how are we going to straighten out this royal oaf? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check this out. Go up here. Um, whoa. A lot of different spiders, eh? Barely made that one. Is this it? Another save point. Whoa, easy there, speedster. And do your thing. Vengeance slip. Here we go. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Wow, Ami, you're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down in the back of your throat. I bet if we tickle it, this royal oaf would sneeze. That's probably our best bet for getting out of here. Well, let's save that for later. We're gonna... Uh, going the other way now. Alright, let's save. Alright, it's time to venture down the Emperor's esophagus. Wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not going to turn back now, are you, Ami? Hell no. Good answer. Okay, you know the drill. Leap before you think. Get another save. Let's check the map. It's just a straight shot down this way. Looks to be another large room. Looks like we gotta go down. What do we got here? A sword. A random sword.
No way. This is insane. That missed. It's alive, Ami. Boy, it looks badass. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist all over the city. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, Gold Nail, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the indomitable Blight, may cut you down. Man, he's been stepping up his game here. Haha, <laughs> I'll step forward all right. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You uncultured wretch. Be warned, we're in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break. A little action in here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my supreme blade, Denkamaru, I, the magnificent Isen, shall... Rend that hunk of junk you call a sword. We're doing it together, Isen. Alright, we gotta lean on our slowdown technique here, I think. Looks like he's already feeling it. Looks like we have to attack this. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it explodes in uh, poison mist after a while. I gotta remember that. Uh, so let's, let's chill. Slow him down again. So once he gets that green mist back again, it's time to turn tail. What's he doing now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we cut these? Jesus Christ. Time to slow down again. Not get me that time. All right, you're almost done so here, bud. Sit your ass up and meet your fate. Oh, he's doing the sword trick again. I think we have to do something with the slash here. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, let's go. You got it, Rami. You're done, Blight. Get out of here. You a rosary? Yeah. We don't use that. You obtain divine instrument, exorcism beads, purifying rosary that contains the power of holy light. Blight, a disease residing within the emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword gold nail, was the source of the acrid mist that had plagued the capital's citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes Amaterasu and Isen. Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Gold Nail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness, 
the spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose. Then it shot off toward the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose, as if to rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the, th the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey you, aren't you forgetting something? You had it coming big time, gas bag. You aren't even in the same league as the magnificent Eason. Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kaguya is still locked up. Ami? Seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do you? Watch and learn, my furry friend. He's gonna throw us up. First, I'll stir up his stomach like this, and then... Uh-oh. What the? Yikes! How'd you think that was a good idea, man? Come on. What the? Hey, are you okay, Ami? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oaf moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. <laughs> this is hilarious. Your Highness, you're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was in prison just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Uh, um... Not that I'm doubting your bountiful wis wisdom, your highness. Don't mind us. We're just chilling. Normal people walk like this too. Your highness, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Um, uh, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. hear the crying. Yeah, but this must be it. Are you the Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are? Oh dear, it's all my fault. How shall I ever apologize? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me 100 dumplings? Huh? Ha ha ha. Just pull on your leg, sweetie. That voice. You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now, let's make this royal oath open your cell. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit-chat, bamboo girl. We freed the Emperor from that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now let's see here. Oh yeah, coochie coochie coo. I can tell what you want to do, Ami. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now, give one of those victory howls to wake up the Emperor. 